Welcome to Sailing Buena Isla. We're sailboat liveaboards, living the minimalistic lifestyle while traveling to new places by water. Almost seems a little fake. Can you hear the boat? It's like a horn. We're out here. It's what, like nine, almost nine thirty. Nine thirty. Nine twenty-eight. Watching a sunset. Oh, in the distance, as you can see. Yeah, yesterday, I think it was yesterday or the day before, it was an orange sunset. Now it's pink, but I, it's so pretty. I just took a really nice photo too. And she's having some nice crispers. It's the healthy way to eat chips. It's the healthiest way. She's already changed, that was more orange. Now as I can see, there's Bailey. Oh my god, her so pretty. That's insane. Why does it look like lava? I'm dropping the water. Lakey, did it scary up here? Maybe it's a little scary. Is it? For Bailey to be up here. <laughs> And there's a bunch of jellyfish. Like I can oh, right no. now, I can if you look, you probably can't see the camera, but I can only see one, two, three, four jellyfish with it. Five, six, oh, there's a lot. <laughs> it's pretty crazy, huh? Yeah. And it changes, like it, it was kind of faint, it was almost like that. When it started, you're like, ah, oh, it's not gonna be that good of a sense. And then all of a sudden it goes like like fiery. And then there's the sugar loaf mountain. That's what I call it. It looks like Brazil. It has a sun Oh, there. where is that? Oh yeah. It's not actually sugar loaf, I just call it that because it looks like it. That mountain over there. It's so she calls it sugar loaf? Yeah, I think that's what it's called in Brazil. Uh, in Rio de Janeiro. A mountain like that. With cables on it. The other night we saw an eagle. Oh. A bald eagle. Right? It was like on one of those posts up here. Yep. This is what's the boat life. <laughs> Sometimes explain the, this. Sometimes the boats in the marina will just start moving crazy and then you look around to see if there's any big like shipping boats that made wake like movement in the water or like if there's waves or wind and there's nothing. There's nothing. Like that boat over there like it's moving look. But there's like nothing happening. So I don't know if there's like a mini earthquake that happens under the water and just that sail off. I really have no idea. Like we're all moving a bit. It's so weird. Who knows? If you know, tell me, because I don't know. Oh, because this is getting creepy. We should Google, is there like an earthquake happening? Like, like legit. Um, should we be concerned actually? Do you think we should be concerned? I don't know. Why is it- That'd be crazy if there was like killer whales swimming through. Is, could that cause it? You never know. Okay, well, this is live, caught on camera. If we don't make it, this is the last footage of us. Isn't that so cute? Look at her face. Are you concerned? I'm gonna walk before we go to bed. Stretch those legs. <laughs> She's always a little scared of going over the pool. We're gonna go over the water now.
Okay. Well, good night, everyone. Bye. This is their sunsets. So we actually just got back from a little sail on our dinghy just a couple hours ago and um, it was really fun. We definitely learned a lot. We've been on this dinghy a few times since we bought it but we haven't actually used the sail that came with it. So it's a sailing dinghy and it's great to use when you're practicing on learning how to sail and things like that and you don't want to take or you just want to take out your whole sail boat. So yeah we went out. It's a pretty nice day today and uh messed around with it a little bit it's kind of funny because we like it, it was just a little bit too windy today when we first came out we're like oh no it looks perfect but then when we're actually out there i think it was just a little bit too windy for such a small sail so we kept being pushed in the wrong direction and it was just a little bit it was a lot of wind to deal with for such a small boat and like it was our first time using this boat with the dinghy or with the sail so it was just kind of funny we were, we were like laughing a lot but we'll show you some of the clips that we got here of putting the dinghy together with the lines and the sail and yeah wow isn't that nice yeah. it's the perfect day to go out what are we gonna do we're gonna go sailing today. Finally, huh. we've been waiting for this day of the week and first we're gonna go get some breakfast, throw out the garbage and then try to head out sailing. Cool, yeah, it's perfect weather for it. Calm water. Okay. It's the beam. Here's the mast. Okay, let's put it together. It's gonna be very tall. Finishing, uh, getting the sail ready for our little dinghy, and uh, yeah, looks pretty good. It's all ready to go. Just gonna put these other lines away. Hey, good job. Okay, so we have our dinghy all ready with the sail. And it's about, how many knots would you say it's gusting today? About 15 knots. 15 knots, so it's not too crazy, but kind of perfect for learning on a dinghy. So we're pretty proud we put it together. And we're gonna go sailing, really excited. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
happened. So we tried, and it's just, uh, it's too choppy right now, as you can see. <laughs> we almost um, failed a few times. The water is too choppy, it looks like this too is choppy right now. It just started picking up, so we will try another time. But we learned how to put the sails together, and we did go out a little bit, so we are so proud of ourselves. <laughs> okay. That was kind of fun, but um, yeah, then the other day, it was like four or five days ago, we had an extreme heat wave here in Canada. I don't know if you saw the news, if you have been following along, but we got to two plus 40, I think 42 degrees just out here in Victoria in the Souk area. It was hot, like really, really hot, really nice beach weather, but kind of crazy. Um, and it was our first time obviously experiencing a heat wave on our sailboat so we had all the blinds closed to try to keep as cool as possible inside um, and then we had a fan going on we don't have ac so if this was the caribbean we would definitely have an ac on our sailboat but normally we don't get these kind of temperatures so it was kind of crazy um, we had to bring our dog with us when we went to work just because we just weren't sure if it was gonna be too hot in the boat um, i think the hottest it got was plus 27 inside the boat and normally on a hot day here it's like plus 20 inside the boat so it wasn't like too too crazy but you definitely needed a fan on yourself the entire time but outside the boat was just like a microwave it was so hot um yeah but we we survived it now we're back to normal temperatures so <laughs> this is uh the end of the heat wave and it was rough it's hot and it's finally cooled down because it's what eight o'clock eight 30 or something like that, so. Sun is setting. Playing crazy eights. This is how we cool off in a heat wave. And Bailey's down here. Bailey! <laughs> That's it, just one. Okay. Rock, Rock paper, paper, scissors. scissors. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> okay. On your mark. Get set. This <laughs> hard. Three. Two, three, four, five. Four. I'm just like switching whatever I want. I don't think we're playing I know. Wait, wait, that's because you know we're going to win. I want, this is going to be in first. This is what you did in Parent Trap, you went like this. In the movie Parent Trap. You don't have a good poker face. Your face is like, oh, I like this. Beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> I won. Hey guys, so we're going to Bouchard Gardens. We're going with Catherine and Joshua, our friends. We're really excited. It's our first time. It is extremely hot out today. So we'll come and show you some of the beautiful flowers. Really excited. I love flowers. Yay. The Sunken Gardens, the official mm -hmm. iconic photo of the Bouchard Gardens. Is it actually? I think so. This is what I see on, on Google all the time. It's the official. So this is, is what still, this uh, used to look like. And now it's a real garden. Hi Catherine. <laughs> We're at the Bouchard Gardens right now. Yeah. This is my friend. She's equally crazy to me. <laughs> we both have stomach problems. We both have stomach problems. Hot girls with stomach problems. Oh my gosh. And yeah, we're at the Bouchard. This is my first time. First impressions are very good. This is her third time. Fourth, I don't Fourth know. Time. I have no idea. Hi, that's Joshua. That's Christian back there. There's Christian. <laughs> Over there. There he is. Over yonder. <laughs> it's nice. The rose garden. My favorite type of flower. Smells so good here. Sniff the, you have to
has his hand in here because it's very warm. <laughs> no, no. This is the dragon. We're in the dragon park, according to Joshua. What is he? Hello. This man told us we're in the dragon park. We've never been here before, so we're not sure where we are. <laughs> Hey guys, yeah, we're just out here <laughs> sitting down. Uh, we're just having a little bit of a sunset picnic. So we just had some cherries here and some muffins. These kind of muffins, people. These kind of muffins. <laughs> and we're just watching the sun go down mm. and it has already set. And we're enjoying a very beautiful view in front of us. Yeah, lots uh, of fog. The clouds were pink, but now it's turning purple. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. I'll show you guys, but we're kind of having a picnic and uh, it's kind of funny because it's a really beautiful view and we're eating like good food, but then every once in a while we get a whiff of otter poo because we're sitting like on a dock, so there's otter poo somewhere and I can smell it. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> yeah, we like it out here. Me too. Okay, this is the view.